Hello and thanks for checking out my video today. Um, today I want to show you an easy, very cheap way to build some glow hooks. Either ice fishing or open water fishing, add to your lures, whatever. I think they came out pretty good. Some of these turned out better than what you buy when you take them out of the package at the store. Um, all kinds of different sizes. Uh, you got, I think, three different size hooks here. So I'll just go get with it and show you how I made these. That out of the way. First off, we just need a hook. I'll use a little bit bigger one. Easy to handle. And we need sinker okay. okay these kind of have little tabs on the back open it up little bit of super glue in there and just crimp it onto the shaft now you can do this many ways. You can leave it round. You can flatten it out. You can also leave the tabs in the back. So when it sets down, it'll stand up. So you can do that. And then it's weighted in the back. So in case you want to bounce it off the bottom, you can do that. Or you can just simply, you know, take them and trim them off with your side cutters. And you can just simply just shave this off and clip the clap tabs off. But once you have the shape of sinker you want, just grab a piece of clay. I'm going to use this one here. Of course, after your super glue dries, then you can just take your clay. This is Bake shop clay from Walmart, 97 cents, comes in every color imaginable. Once you get this formed on here, you just hang this upside down on the rack in your oven and bake it for about 15 minutes at 275 degrees is what this called for. Doesn't seem to affect the super glue. These don't have to be super perfect when you first start out but basically for time's sake just form it on there and then get my paper even and that'll sit up like that um, pick the size of sinker you want pick the size of hook you want then when you're all done simply just take it and you can see I've been using the sanding pad to get the after it's baked out of the oven or I've been using a file um, sands it gets super super hard pretty easy to sand and then once you've got it all the way you want it all sanded down ready to go then you just get some glow-in-the-dark paint pick your color and I know it gets all over in that eyelet but This is super easy to trim off once this paint dries. And then you just hang it up on your rack when you're all done. And there you go. You got your glow hook. And one more thing. Always put a clear coat on it. So it makes them nice and shiny and makes them hold up to the water and stuff. Get a clear, clear coat on there. Anyway, that is how you make an ice fishing or open water glow hook. Um, super easy. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put a link in the description as soon as I get out and get to try these out on the lake. Another week or two before ice fishing season begins here in Montana. We'll be doing lots of that. So thanks for watching and you have a great day. Bye now.